anatomy is limb lengthening external fixator package comes with an allen key four shunt screws and a fixator we have three sizes small size medium size and one large size we'll show you a surgical technique for the medium size here the fixator contains of a rail three clamps and two distraction compression parts and we have allen key screws for for the allen key to for the shunts and compression distraction in uh, the first thing is after the sterilization when we have the fixator the package like this what we do is uh, initially surgeon chooses the appropriate size for the bone we'll sh show you a surgical technique here on the femur so we have the external fixator here first thing after we have the fixator from the sterilization is we do is we loosen these clamps so we put the allen key inside and turn it so that the clamps are loosened we loosen all three clamps and we remove the compression distraction parts now uh, we just we fix them a little bit so that they don't move a lot now second thing to do is to loosen the uh, chance clamps we loosen all all of the chance clamps Once all of the shunts clamps, mainly the, uh, since we are trying to do the limb lengthening, mainly the last two clamps are uh, open. The first thing surgeon does is, uh, does is decides the position of the screws. And initially, the first shunts screw is put at the end of the clamp inside the, inside the bone. So generally they can use a drill machine but we are going to use a T handle. So initially the first screw is put inside. So once the first screw is fixed we uh, just fix it a little bit so that there is no empty space between the shans screw and the clamp. We don't tighten it. Once it is fixed a little bit, then uh, we go to the other side. The surgeon arranges the surgeon arranges the exact position of the second shunt screw. And since we are doing the lengthening, then we make sure that there is some distance left here. We put the uh, shunt screw, the second shunt screw at the position that we the surgeon has decided initially okay once the shunt screw is fixed inside inserted we again similarly we did on the other side we fix the this uh, shunt screw the clamp we don't tighten it but we just uh, make sure that there is no loose space now the alignment is done for the bone the alignment of the the last two shunt screws do the alignment now the second thing is we put the uh, more supporting shunt screws from here and also from the upper side we put them in this situation once we have the inserted the remaining shunt screws we fix the clamps we tighten them we make sure that there is no movement left but we don't tighten them too too hard in case if we want to change it later on now the clamps are tightened after that the second step is to tighten the clamps from the bottom we tighten the 
first and last clamps. Once first and last clamps are tightened, we place the compression and distraction uh, part in between. Now, now, depending on the position, since we want to do the lengthening, then we arrange the clamps initially accordingly. We put the last clamps at the end and we put the this clamp, we put the uh, place for the distraction, for the lengthening. So we put the, the compression and distraction part here. We make sure that L and T part is outside. We insert it and now we fix the, the third clamp. We make sure that this is fixed nicely. Now we make sure that the distraction and compression unit, it, the load is on the compression and distraction unit. So we just move it a little bit and we take all the empty spaces. Now we can feel that all the load, this doesn't move and all the load is on this unit. Once that is done, the surgery is over. Now the next step is uh, every day the patient or the team surgical team has to increase the length one millimeter each day procedure for that is we loosen the last clamp we loosen it a little bit after that the one turn of the compression distraction part is one millimeter so uh, we do it 90 degrees four times two three four it can be done in the same time or separately once that is done then the clamp is fixed again so this is the procedure to be done every day